Stand up to be a grand up with St Andrew's Square Shopping Centre. He's just come off stage. James, wow, he's come applause, off. James. Thank he's you very it. much, guys. And, and you got the dancing. And I got the dancing, got yeah, dance. yeah. And do you know what? I was so impressed when, when you walked up and you put your water on the stool that it wasn't a rum, because I know you've been craving I rum have all night. really, really wanted a drink. But actually, Janie Hux has been really wonderful and she has spent the last five days going, whatever you do, don't get really, really drunk before. <laughs> By the way, has anybody actually heard me on the radio? Yeah. Yay! Because if you've heard me on the radio, if you had a slight clue that I'm actually Cornish, and that clue is I just go on and on and on about it. I am Cornish, I am Cornish. Uh, but it's not just me, all Cornish people do that. Um, excessive pride, that really is the Cornish disease. I mean, that and rickets. <laughs> <laughs> but my, uh, my. <laughs> I'm quite proud of being Cornish, but my dad is a proper Cornish nationalist. He is just uber Cornish, ultra Cornish. He's like 70% clotted cream and pasty crusts, and then 30% gibberish. But, um, and he's, he's actually obsessed with the fact that Barclays Bank is from Cornwall. He's going, on, James, James, it's amazing, Barclays Bank is from Cornwall. And I'm going, Dad, Barclays can't be Cornish because they've lent me money. <laughs> Was it, what was it like, because I'm trying to think back to when it was me last year, what was it like in the time before going up? You know, when you're sitting around, you're having a drink, you're having food, and you're waiting to go on. Well, um, th the comedian before me, when he was doing his stuff, and he was really funny, and I was thinking, damn, I really can't remember anything mm. that I'm going to say now, and I really want to go home. <laughs> but, and also, because I've brought loads of people from work, they have spent the whole night winding me up and going oh yeah and we bought stuff to throw and are oh, we going to say this and we're going to say that and <laughs> well, so that's yeah that was mean but they yeah. didn't do it so it's cool Jim <laughs> but um yeah but my my dad's a Cornish nationalist and I don't think that he understands that outside Cornwall nobody understands this he doesn't think that he's English and we were in a, um, a curry house in Worcester, and he leaned over to the waiter and he said, you and I, we've got quite a lot in common. In this country, we're both ethnic minorities. He actually said that. But, but what, what my dad meant was, you know, I, I don't think that my culture, heritage, and traditions actually come in the, within the borders of England either. But what the waiter heard was, please, 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 could you spit in my biryani? <laughs> so is there going to be a, another, is there going to be another gig? Is there going to be more stand-up work? Well, I don't really know how to go from this to doing more stand-up. I know that Janie Hux, who's a very funny lady, um, she organises a comedy night in Droitwich, so I'm going to try my luck at that. Wyvern, Herefordshire and Worcestershire. You've done, you've done fantastically tonight, well, and the crowd, the crowd loved it. Tony oh. been, Tony's absolutely loved you, we have, so well done, a worthy Excellent. winner. James okay. Mason. Should we end this on a group hug? Yeah! yeah. Just, no, just... Oh, group hug. Wyvern. <laughs>